In this Digico SD series in-depth video, we're going to take a look at the software option CG Faders Controls Orc Sends, what it means and how to use it. It doesn't matter if you're handling a large number of monitor mixes, mixing front of house and monitors on the same console, or working on one of the smaller SD consoles like the SD11. An efficient workflow can really help. In designing this workflow enhancement, we brought together two elements of the console. Firstly, the assignment of input channels to control groups or VCAs, and the AUX flip to fader mode traditionally used for building monitor mixes. Considering the traditional AUX flip to fader mode, this method of working is fast and tried and tested. Soloing the AUX master brings the sends to the faders, and individual channel send adjustments can be made. This is great for single channel adjustments, but what's the best way of dealing with broader changes? More drums or less guitars? It's difficult to make precise adjustments over more channels while maintaining the relative differences between the channel levels. You could gang the channels together, but this has other implications and has the potential to require more button presses. You could also send groups of channels to subgroups and use the group bus orc sends to build your mixes. While these varying methods all work, the CG faders controls orc sends function makes it easier and faster to make broad adjustments without compromising workflow or the ability to adjust individual channels. So here's how it works. First, open the options panel and make sure that the CG faders controls aux sends is switched on and that the solo assigns aux to faders is on too. You'll find these in the faders and solos tabs. Then use the traditional aux flip to fader mode to build mixes. Solo an aux to listen to it and flip the sends to faders and dial in the mix. And finally, we assign the input channels to control groups, building the groups of channels that we might want to adjust together. Drums, bass, guitars. Now, when we solo an aux output to make an adjustment, the input channel still flips to sends on faders, allowing individual changes. But now, the control group fader provides a trim function with plus or minus 18 dBs of relative adjustment. So if we solo aux one, we get the individual sends on faders. And when we move the drum control group fader, you can see that it's trimming the sends for that drum channel to aux one. The faders follow this adjustment so you can see exactly what's happening at all times. The same workflow holds for mixing front of house and monitors on the same console. You're likely to have CG set up anyway, so enabling the CG aux to fader mode makes it easier to manage both tasks. On the SD7 and SD7 Quantum, try putting the CG faders on the upper master bank with the AUX masters on the lower bank. You'll have everything can you need right in front of you. Next time you're behind a Digico SD console, give it a go. For more SD range in-depth videos, head over to YouTube and subscribe to the Digico channel.